thank you for clicking on the video and here on Nermimic I'm presenting Rise of the Ronin. This is a game that is published by Sony Interactive so it's just for PlayStation 5 and it's made by the team that came up with Ninja Gaiden and other action oriented games um, Team Ninja. So is this a fluid action game like uh, all those other games? Is it a Dark Souls game? You just saw me uh, activate a checkpoint there, like a fireplace, uh, like Dark Souls. So yes, the enemies respawn when you save, reach certain checkpoints, but it doesn't really play like that. It def definitely plays more like a, a poor, <laughs> excuse me, poor man's um, Assassin's Creed game. Uh, it's not as good, unfortunately. The combat's not as fluid. I don't know if you could tell through some of the gameplay here, but it's not running out of... Uh, so there was a little graphic hitch that you just saw there. It doesn't run at 60 FPS uh, all the time. And uh, it, it really does mimic Assassin's Creed. There are certain places where you could get up high and you even hear an eagle screech, just like in Assassin's Creed. Uh, so, it, but it doesn't engage you as well. There is an Assassin's Creed game coming out in the near future that is set in Japan uh, and uh, that probably would be a lot better. This story is not as engaging. You play a twin looking for a lost twin. Pretty generic and uh, a lot of different uh, missions to be had on this open world area but they're really just simple. Kill this, kill that, fetch this. It's a uh, Really simplistic, so I'm very disappointed with this game. I'm not gonna spend the time to finish this at all. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that you pick it up either. So uh, that's pretty much it I wanted to say about this uh, game. You can watch me uh, try to kill some more <laughs> bad guys here, but uh, uh, it's a pretty simplistic game. Ugh! <laughs>